بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم علامہ صلی اللہ محمد محمد ویلکم ویورس ٹو دی ویری نیو سیریز آف مائی چینل اسپریڈ دا لائف وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ہیو سم ویلیوبل لرننگ ٹائم ان نیکسٹ فیو ایپیسوڈ آف انٹرپرینور شپ فسٹ آف آل لیٹس ڈیفائن انٹرپرینور این انٹرپرینور از این انڈیویژول ہو کریٹ اے نیو بزنس ڈیورنگ موسٹ آف دی ایئرس اینڈ انجوائنگ موسٹ آف دی ریوارڈ سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ دا فسٹ ایپیسوڈ آف انٹرپرینور شپ These are some main focus points that are going to be discussed in this video. We shall learn the different dimensions of entrepreneurship by exploring the profiles of renowned entrepreneurs in every new episode of the entrepreneurship series. Today, I am going to open up the profile of successful entrepreneur Heming Marion Kaufman. The introduction of entrepreneurship concept will be explained. I shall highlight the background and characteristics of essential required for entrepreneurship. Sustainable entrepreneurship will be introduced in this episode. Eming Marion Kaufman, an American pharmaceutical entrepreneur, philanthropist, and major league baseball owner. Reverse the purpose of sharing entrepreneurial profile is to get useful insights and information about the various aspects of the success of that entrepreneur and learning from failures and understanding about entrepreneurial thinking. Eming Marion Kaufman, he was born on a farm in Garden City, Missouri. Eming Marion Kaufman moved to the Kansas City with his family when he was 8 years old. A critical in his life occurred several years later when Kaufman was diagnosed with a leakage of heart. Kaufman's mother came up with a solution to keep the active 11 years old boy laying in the bed by gave developing the reading habits. Kaufman told that he used to read 40 to 50 books per month. Another important early childhood experience centered on door to door sales. His mother was very encouraging during these days by telling young Evan each day that there may be some who have more money in their pocket but Evan there is nobody but better than you. During his youth, Kaufman worked as a laundry delivery person and as a Boy Scout. He said, Kaufman, according to Kaufman, this experience gave me some of the sales tips techniques which came into play when subsequently I went into pharmaceutical business. Upon graduation, he went to work as a laundry full-time for Mr. R. A. Long, who was eventually become one of his role models. Eming says, I got practice in selling and that proved to be beneficial later in life. He joined shortly per Pearl Harbor on January 11, 1942. Kaufman was assigned to the Admiral's staff where he became an outstanding single man because he was able to read messages better than anyone else due to his previous intensive reading. In 1947, Eming Kaufman began his career as pharmaceutical sales person. He was earning pay higher than the president's salary by the end of his second year. The president promptly cut the commission. He eventually quit and in 1950 started his own company, Marion Laboratories. Even Kaufman commented, Before I made the break, I went to the doctors and said, I am thinking of starting my own company. May I count on you to give me your orders if I can give you the same quality and service. These three were my biggest accounts and each one of them I agree because They liked me and they were happy to do business with me, Marion commented. Marion Liberty started by marketing injectable products that were manufactured by another company under Marion label. The company expanded to other accounts and other products with the name of Become an Oyster Shell Calcium. Marion Laboratories continued to grow and reached over $1 billion per year in sales due primarily to the relationship between Ewing Kaufman and the people in the company who were called associates, not employees. They are all st- stockholders. They built this company and they mean so much to us, said Kaufman. In 1968, Kaufman brought Major League Baseball back to Kansas City by purchasing the Kansas City Royals. In late 1999, the company was again merged with Aventus Pharma, a global pharmaceutical company. Even Marion Kaufman was an entrepreneur, a Major League Baseball team owner, and a philanthropist who believed his success was a direct result of one fundamental philosophy, treat others as you would like to be treated. It was the happiest principle by which to live and the most intelligent principle by which to do business and make money. He established the Kaufman Foundation, which supports programs in two areas, 
youth development and entrepreneurship. Truly a remarkable entrepreneur, MK, as he was affectionately called by his employees, will now produce many more successful associate entrepreneurs like Ewing Marion Kaufman. Many other entrepreneurs and future entrepreneurs frequently ask themselves, Am I really an entrepreneur? Do I have what it takes to be a success? Do I have sufficient background and experiences to start and manage a new venture? The fact remains that more new businesses venture fails than succeed. To be one of the few successful entrepreneurs requires more than just hard work and luck. It requires the ability to think in an environment of high uncertainty, be flexible and learn from one's failure. That was the main points of the profile of Ewing Kaufman. Hopefully, the new entrepreneurs can get some learnings and good understandings about the entrepreneurship from this profile. What is entrepreneurship? The, the ability and readiness to develop, organize, and run a business enterprise along with any of its uncertainties in order to make a profit. The nature of entrepreneurship plays an important role in the creation and growth of business as well as in the growth and prosperity of regions and nations. Entrepreneurial opportunities, those situations in which new goods, services, new materials and organizing methods can be introduced and sold at greater than their cost of production. Entrepreneurial actions. These are the actions through the creation of new product processes and the entry into new markets which may occur through a newly created organization or within an established organization. Entrepreneurial thinking. Individuals' mental processes of overcoming ignorance to decide whether a signal represents an opportunity for someone is also an opportunity for them. How Entrepreneurs Think Entrepreneurs think differently from non-entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs must often make decisions in a highly uncertain environment where the stakes are high, time pressures are immense, and there is considerable emotional investment. Entrepreneurs make decisions in uncertain environments. The intention to act entrepreneurially. Intentions capture the motivational factors that influence a behavior. Entrepreneurial intention, the motivational factors that influence individuals to pursue entrepreneurial outcomes. Entrepreneurial efficacy, the conviction that one can successfully execute the entrepreneurial process. The perception of feasibility has much to do with an entrepreneur's self-efficacy. Indeed, people with high self-efficacy think differently and behave differently than people with low efficacy. Entrepreneurship scholars have found that self-efficacy is positively associated with the creation of a new independent organization. Now we can next investig investigate the background characteristics of entrepreneurs to understand why some individuals are more likely to engage in entrepreneurship than other individuals. Entrepreneur background and characteristics. Education. Although some may feel that entrepreneurs are less educated than the general population, research findings indicate that there is clearly no success. Education is reported in the upbringing of entrepreneurs. Although a formal education is not necessary for starting new business, it does provide a good background, particularly when it is related to the field of venture. For example, entrepreneurs have cited an educated need in the areas of finance, strategic planning, marketing, and management. The ability to communicate clearly with both the written and the spoken word is also important in any entrepreneurial activity. Even general education is valuable because it facilitates the integration and accumulation of new knowledge. Indeed, it has been found that while education has a positive influence on the chance that a person will discover new opportunities. Age. The relationship of age to the entrepreneurial career process also has been carefully researched. Entrepreneurial experience is one of its best predictors of the success, particularly when the new venture is in the same first as the previous business experience. In terms of chronological age, most entrepreneurs initiate their entrepreneurial career between the age of 22 and 45. A career can be initiated before and after these age as long as the entrepreneur has the necessary experience and financial support and a high energy level needed to launch and manage a new venture successfully. Generally, 
male entrepreneurs tend to start their first significant venture in their early 30s and female entrepreneurs in the middle of 30s work history the past work experience of an individual work history can influence the decision to launch a new entrepreneurial venture while dissatisfaction with various aspects of one's job such as lack of challenge or promotional opportunities as well as frustration and boredom often motivates the launching of new ventures previous techniques and industry experience is important as the decision to launch has been made as the venture becomes established and starts growing managerial experience and skills become increasingly important such as the startup process making decisions from the scratch and raising venture capitals role models and support systems individual whose examples an entrepreneur can aspire to and copy one of the most important factors influencing the entrepreneur in their career path is their choice of a role model role model can be parents brothers sisters other relatives other entrepreneurs role models can provide important signals that entrepreneurship is feasible feasible for them it is important that an entrepreneur establish connection and eventually networks early in the new venture formation process There are two main kinds of support networks moral support networks individuals who give psychological support to an entrepreneur most entrepreneurs indicate that their spouses are their biggest supporters and allow them to devote their excessive amount of time necessary to the new venture friends also play a key role in a moral support network not only can friends provide advice that is often more honest than the that you see from other sources but they also provide encouragement understanding and even assistance finally relatives children parents grandparents aunts uncles also can be strong sources of moral support professional support network individuals who help the entrepreneurs in business activities since a mentor is a coach someone with whom the entrepreneur can share both problems and success the individual selected needs to be an expert in the field another good source of advice can be cultivated by establishing a network of business associates clients or buyers are the particularly important group to cultivate there is nothing better than word of mouth advertising from satisfied customers to help establish a winning business reputation and promote goodwill suppliers are another important competent in a professional support network trade associations can offer an excellent professional support network finally personal affiliation of the entrepreneur also can be a valuable part of a professional support network each entrepreneur need to establish both moral and professional support networks sustainable entrepreneurship Entrepreneurship focused on preserving nature, life, support, and community in the pursuit of perceived opportunities to bring future products, processes, and services into existence for gain, where gain is broadly constructed to include economic and non-economic benefits to individuals, the economy, and society. Sustainable development is perhaps the most important issue of our times. We cannot underestimate the role of entrepreneurs' knowledge of markets. technologies and opportunities exploration without entrepreneurial entrepreneurial knowledge they can generate gain for others that economic environmental and societal including employment opportunities improve environment access to quality valuable goods revenues for the government for example individuals who were knowledgeable about cooking and practices in developing countries were able to recognize opportunities for hybrid stoves that this substantially reduced particular pollutant in household all right viewers here we have come to the end of our first entrepreneurship episode let's recap that we have learned today we came to know that entrepreneurship involves action before individuals use their knowledge and motivation to overcome ignorance to form a belief that there exists an opportunity for someone entrepreneurs are often situated in resource scarce environment but are able to make do with the resources they have at hand to create opportunities the external environment can also have an impact on performers and therefore the entrepreneurs need to be able to adapt to changes in the environment individuals become entrepreneurs because they intend to do so the stronger the intention to be an entrepreneur the more likely it is that it will happen the perception of feasibility and desirability are influenced by one's background and characteristics such as education personal values age and work history 
role models and support systems and networks the outcomes of entrepreneurial action can be economic gain for the entrepreneurs his family but this may not be only motivation for the intention to be an entrepreneur some individuals exploit opportunities that sustain the natural environment and community and generate gain for others we call this process sustainable entrepreneurship the motivation words today for this session i choose to share are the true entrepreneur is a doer not a dreamer we recognize that our explanation of entrepreneurship could be considered highly idealistic however it is consistent with thinking of entrepreneur entrepreneurial action as a tool for example a hammer that can be used for good to build a community center or for bad as a weapon for harming others we do believe that there are many people in the world today who are motivated to use the tool of entrepreneurial action to sustain the natural environment and communities and develop gain for others perhaps you are one of these people so it is the right time to start a new venture viewers it was all about first episode in which we discussed basics of entrepreneur and entrepreneurship inshallah in next episode we shall learn about corporate entrepreneurship with opening up another new biography of a successful entrepreneur hopefully next session will be beneficial to all of us if you have any question about today's session you can write to me at this email address and i want to remind you all to like share and subscribe my channel spread the light to help me to spread the light of knowledge see you all soon thank you so much